We'll take a detailed day-to-day -day look at the weather maps now. And there's so much to talk about over the next week. Now, we have seen a storm outbreak the past few days through New South Wales. It was northern New South Wales on Wednesday where we saw the thunderstorms. This shot from Inverell, just on the western side of the ranges. Now, Inverell only picked up just over one millimetre of rain, but up high on the top of the New England tableland, Glennon has picked up 18 millimetres. And across the border in the southern Darling Downs, a couple of the rain gauges even saw over 50 millimetres of rain. Now, this storm outbreak will continue over New South Wales, but it has eased back over the past 24 hours. If we have a look at the jet stream, you'll notice we don't see those red arrows currently over New South Wales. And when you do have a jet stream, along with storms, are often enhanced, and that's when you see widespread severe storms. However, take a look at what's happening in the west. A cold front is surging north, and that is actually the polar jet stream that's moving north towards the south coast of WA. That's the kind of jet stream pattern you would often see in the middle of winter. And when you have a strong cold front and a polar jet stream in the middle of summer, you often see extreme weather, and that's what we'll get over the next few days. Here is the chart then as we move from Wednesday into Thursday. We've got a high that's drifting down into the southern Tasman Sea, winds move anti-clockwise around highs, which means another hot northerly developing right across eastern Australia. You'll note the vertical isobars from Tasmania all the way up to Cape York Peninsula. So hot northerly winds drifting down and temperatures well above average, just as hot for the southeast inland as it was last week, although for coastal areas, Adelaide, Hobart, Melbourne, Sydney, for example, it won't be as hot as that hot spell we had late last week. And here comes our cold front bringing showers to the southern coast of WA. Ahead of that front, a band of storms for eastern WA and a developing tropical cyclone on the northwest coast bringing some heavy falls to the Kimberley. Through Friday, this cold front will bring a cool change to South Australia. Temperatures will drop, not quite as dramatically as last week. However, this time, it's not a dry change. Widespread showers and storms moving through with the cold front, spreading through Victoria and Tasmania through Friday afternoon and Friday evening. Ahead of that front, warm and humid with storms along the New South Wales ranges over the next couple of days, and heavy rain and flooding likely through that northern part of WA, thanks to our tropical system. That system moving inland over the weekend, causing heavy rain and flooding to spread through the northern inland parts of WA. And a second cold front will move through the southeast corner of the country, bringing further Further showers on Saturday to Tasmania, Victoria, coastal South Australia and temperatures well below average. There's the slight chance we'll even see some snow through the higher peaks of Tasmania and some small hail. So a very wintry pattern developing over southeastern Australia and on Saturday a cool change sweeps up through New South Wales, another subtly coming for Sydney and again there's the risk of showers and thunderstorms. On Sunday between a Tasman low and a high in the bite, Cool southerly winds continuing with showers for coastal areas, some storms for Queensland across the north and heavy rain possibly moving all the way to the southwest corner of WA thanks to the remnants of our tropical cyclone.